Good morning guys. Morning everyone. Welcome back to a beautiful sunny day on the Finca. It is indeed. Not a cloud in the sky. We've actually, can you believe it, after all the bad weather we've had, we've got heat warnings now. Yes. Um, crazy weather. Not too bad in our area though, so and we're, we're digging today as well, which is going to be great fun if it does get really hot. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's set like this now forever, so we just need to get it done. So I think, shall we go and get the sleepers? Yes, we need to go and get those sleepers because we need to know how tall they are in order to um, yes, know we're trying, we're trying to work. we need to build, um, <laughs> dig the holes. We're trying to work it all out, but we haven't actually got them here to work it out, so we need to go and get them. Let's so, do it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're back with our new sleepers. Um, they're pretty solid actually, given no idea how old they are. Um, wouldn't even like to hazard a guess, but they're quite old. But they're covered in all kinds of mud. The other sides are actually pretty good. Um, but the side, this is obviously the side that's, I'm guessing, been upright because they've got the cutouts for the rails. So, um, I think the first thing we're going to do is jet wash. I've rolled them all onto the messy sides first. We'll roll them over in a bit and um, I'll show you the other sides, which is really nice. So, jet wash time. <laughs> That's the back and the two sides done. I'm going to let them dry now before I turn them over to do the front. They look very nice when they're wet. I think we're going to probably creosote them. So that's how they should look when they're creosoted. We'll see. Right, okay, so what are we going to do with these railway sleepers? Um, we've changed our minds again, if you saw the last video. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to build a roof this way following the contour of that wall. I'm going to clean it up, tidy it up, make it a bit straighter. And then we're going to put three railway sleepers in. One at the end there, one in the centre here, and one about here, which is going to give us five metres by three and a half metres of um, covered shaded area. Um, we originally said we were going to put it this way, but with the door and that joint and stuff, it's easy to put it this way. And then we're probably going to move the generator back out there put it in a, a soundproof box, move this shelf so we'll have a clear passage down there to get out of the gate as well if we need to. Uh, so that kind of works for us. So what we're going to do, the three sleepers are going to be upright, concreted in the ground, the other two are going to be sat on top and I'm going to attempt to cut a lap joint in a railway sleeper. They're not easy to work with these things, they're 2.6 metres long, um, 8 foot 6 I believe that is, and they weigh 60 kilos or more which is about 130 pounds upwards um, so yeah not the easiest things to work with but I don't know why we take these things on but we think the end result will be fantastic on the ends on the rafters um, 
we've got the old wood that the barrels used to sit on that we're going to use in the visible um, areas so yeah we've got a right job on so I'm going to crack on with it and start getting our first hole dug so as it all the ground here it's mainly solid rock <coughs> Here it is, isn't it? Thwack. <laughs> but we'll just keep bashing away at it. Right, that was hard work. The first hole's dug. Um, can't really go any deeper because we're going to hit. We just hit bedrock, I think. So I can either put some brackets on it and bolt it to the bedrock but it should be deep enough it's, it's um it's about 15 inches about 340 350 mil so there's going to be three of them it's all going to be bolted together it's a big structure a big roof so it's not really doing a lot um i just needed to get it down a little bit so it wasn't sticking up above the wall so um we need to get the first one i mean we're going to roll them sleepers over now and get the other sides cleaned up and then we can think about getting one in Well, look at these, they've come up absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, absolutely, really, really, really happy with that. Just need to see if I can get it in its hole now. Right. Day. Now I need to devise a way to stand it up vertically in both directions. It's a bit thick for me clamps, um, so I'm going to see what we can come up with. Right, so it's in, it's packed, it's got a big block of wood behind it. The clamps spanned it the way that it's on, so that's all it that way. Sharon's checking it, and um, what we're going to do now, I think, we've actually used the not the prettiest board, prettiest sleeper, because this one's going to be right at the back. We we'll save the prettiest ones for the more visible area. Um, so now we need to make some concrete up, get it set in. Right, so it's just one hole we're doing. Um, I'm just going to mix it by hand in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to use a bucket of gravel, a bucket of sand. Here you go, there, rub it. must have rubbed myself on the fence. Um, and then half a thing of cement. That should be enough for us um, for one hole. If it's not, we can do a little bit more. And then 
We'll add the cement. And mix that in. A little bit at a time. Or half, half at a time. Right, now we're just going to dry stick it in the hole like we always do. If I can move it. Excellent. So I'll bit in with a shovel first and then we'll just pour the rest in. When it's all in and it's wet we'll be able to double check this and move it a little bit if necessary. Oh, the wheelbarrow's going. down nearly. That was a pretty good judge. That will smooth it off, water it in. There we go, absolutely perfect. Um, right, we'll get it wetted down. Right, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a, a bit of a tamp down. Cool. And check it for level again. Right, so that one's in and standing proud. <laughs> um, I think the next one I'm gonna put in is this end one. It's gonna be somewhere about here. So I need to measure the length of the bits of the two I'm going to be putting on the top. Um, I've got a bit of flexibility in it because I can have a little overlap either side um, but first of all like I said um, yesterday in the other video I can't remember when I'm going to join the two together over the centre post with a half lap joint so let's go and have a look. So these are the two interesting pieces I'm going to use for the horizontals across the top and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut half a joint out of this one and the same on this one so one will sit on top of the other but they'll be the same level the thickness of um, the ones it's going to sit on so what I need to do is measure both the length of these and take off um, the thickness of the one it's going to sit on if that makes sense right so the total length is a fraction over five meters um, allowing for the, the lap joint in the center so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the post, the end of the post in at 4.8 meters, which will give me 100 millimeters, about four inches either end to play with. And um, I don't want a flush joint anyway, because I don't think it looks very nice. Um, so now we've got to figure out where to put the hole and then we've got to dig it. The reason I'm putting the end one in first um, is because if I can get the height of that right, I'll probably have to use a laser level on it. Um, then the middle one, I can just use a string line the sideways and above to get that exactly that'll be easier the difficulty is going to be getting this one um, to the right height basically because we don't want a sloping roof it needs to match the other one right so crack on so what I'm going to do I'm going to work to this water channel on the side which is proper square and straight and everything it's full of stones and gas bottles and rubbish at the minute um, so what I'm going to do is measure how far that sleeper is from this channel and then measure me 4.8 meters up and put a little block on the floor x marks the spot so to speak right so this block marks the exact spot where the sleeper is going to come up so obviously we need to dig a hole bigger than that um so yeah so let's get going we've already got a massive stone there i'm just going to basically just cut loosely around it to mark my spot then I can move my block 
even that's easier said than done. Right, we'll carry on. Right, okay, so several hours later, we think we've got our hole dug. What we've done is locked the tape measure off at 2.6 metres, which is the height of the sleeper, held it like that, put the laser level on top of it, and pretty much tried to gauge it. And we are about there. I can see, I can just see the dot on the wall um, just above the sleeper. It's hard to tell exactly because it's obviously a bit wobbly and not super precise, but it gives us an idea. So we'll go and get the sleeper. We feel confident at this stage now. Might have to dig a little bit more out, but um, we'll go and get it and um, see what it looks like. Right, so in anticipation that the hole is deep enough, I've got four bits of wood here. We're gonna drop it in, screw these to it quickly um, to hold it in place. When it's screwed, we'll be able to move them to adjust it as necessary and then I'll lock it where we want it. So, we'll go and get it. Right, the steps, uneven ground. Right. You got that? Yeah. Right, we'll get it braced up now. I've got my drill in my bit, in my things. Just to save Sharon's arms. I better let go of that now. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> right, let's check the level, check the height. Hopefully, we won't have to take it out again. Right, it's too high, so we should be able to. That's an the system is flawed. Um, damn. I'll have to take take that front one off, and we'll just take the front one off and just lay it down. Not what we wanted or needed at all. Come on. No room anywhere. It should just lie down now. Ish. get this one out of the way as well. It's a good design. <coughs> right. Ah. 
Right, we'll dig a bit more out of it and then come back to you in a minute. All that remains now is to level it. Which is pretty easy with these legs on. <laughs> You know what, I'm pretty happy with that. Cool, right. It's that concrete time again. We've actually chosen this one because when it was wet, um, it looked absolutely beautiful. Really nice, knotty, well, sort of knotty, interesting features on it. So when it's oiled, depending on what we're ever going to oil it with, probably linseed oil, it should look nice and a nice feature. As you come up the steps from the lower courtyard, this is what you'll see. Um, right, let's get it concreted and enough waffle. Right, so we've done it, it's in, it's concreted. Um, we wanted to get it done today because um, the middle one, I want to put a tight string line across the top of them to get the level of that one right, save so having to muck about. And the same down the side to get it the same, the distance right, so they're all in a perfect line. Um, so, and we need to reuse these as well because I'm a bit running low of off cuts because I burnt a lot of them in the winter. <laughs> um, but so we'll just leave them now until the morning when we'll be carrying on right so it's another beautiful morning um these are set absolutely solid i know it's still got his braces on um two in so now we need to get the middle one in but the two um vertical the two horizontals i've got to go they're ever so slightly different lengths so i want to i'm going to cut that lap joint in and basically overlap cut half out of each one so they'll sit on top of each other um, because they're a little bit rotten at some of the ends as well so it'll just give them a bit more strength and then we can screw them down together and it'll be solid so um yeah before we do anything i'm going to cut that then i can get an accurate measurement then of the where the middle one needs to go Right, so there it is. This is the underneath. This is what you're going to see. Um, fantastic. What I'm going to do, I think, well, there's a bit of a saw. <laughs> um, I'm going to put the other post in the other way so I can get a good bolt right through the thickest bit of each part of them. <clears throat> um, and that'll make a super strong thing, that. Yeah, so, so it's done. So now we can remove the bracing. Keep them here for the next one. There we go, looks much, much better already. Right, so we're ready. Um, I've put a string line across, mark the centre, um, or centre where we want to be, which is actually in the centre. And um, all we've got to do now is dig another hole, the string is just to give me a guide so there we go, rocks already <laughs> alright well the hole's coming along, um, I've got a massive stone there on the right that I can't budge, um, but hopefully it looks as though the sleeper might fit just at the side of it if not I'm going to have to get the breaker out to break it up so um, yeah we'll see we'll do a height check now so what I've done I've put a string line across the top and I'm now going to measure from that down into the bottom of my hole see if it's deep enough hopefully it is because I really had enough of digging 
from an hour work, plus in the heat. Crikey, I think we're there. Maybe we need a bit more actually. Oh dear, I'll go check it. Well, it's the worst news imaginable. I need another 100 millimetres, four inches, so I better get on with it. Right, so eventually um, it's there, or I think it is. Um, it's uh, this massive stone, I hope it's not going to obstruct it. But we're going to bring the sleeper in and um, see if it'll see if it works. Okay, just a minute. The problem is it all falls in the hole. <laughs> you move it. Right, and lift. Big stones in the way. Oh, what a nightmare. Um, right, lie down this way. That's it. More digging eventually, after much blisters, sweat, and tears. Um, it's in. It's perfect. So, I'm going to get the braces on it, so we can relax. We'll probably have a beer, actually, to celebrate. I don't know about that, so that way, does it? Whew. And relax. Um, okay. Yes. <coughs> well, anyway, that. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll level it up in a minute. Just need to take five and have a drink. <laughs> oh. Okay. So it's level that way. It's level that way. The string line is dead in the centre of it. If you can see the string line. Um, so we know what's next. Uh, concrete. And he's absolutely shattered. I can't blame him in this sun. So I'm giving him a hand with the concrete. <laughs> Donkey's shouting, he wants attention. It's nearly that time to feed them. I haven't got the right footwear on, but then I never do. Yeah, we'll have a final level check. And then water it in. Oh, lovely. That side's no good, it's all twisted. <laughs> you know what that'll do for me? Go for it. And we'll leave it till the morning. And um, yeah, it should be fine. Lovely. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. Thank goodness for that. Yes, it's done. We can now <laughs> relax a minute, a while. Well, at the end of another day and another video for you guys, um, as I say, it's getting to that oh. time, donkey's braying and goat is bleating or whatever goats do, they're ready for their grain. Um, we are having a very well earned yes. beer. Cheers, Cheers everyone, thank you so <laughs> much for watching, we hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, consider subscribing, um, little button below, doesn't cost anything, really helps us out. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for this. <laughs> And we'll be carrying on with our courtyard antics on the next video, which for you guys will be Thursday. Thursday. So tune in for more exciting Think Alive. Yep, yeah, thanks. See you then. Bye.